It is KCIM Sports Rewind. Sports Director Jeff Blank, but John Ryan with you here. Uh, NCAA tournaments is what we're kind of talking about today in highlight memories. And I'm a little shocked nobody brought this up until you rudely pointed out that I'm <laughs> old enough to remember this. Nobody brought up Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson. Maybe well, the, the, to me, in my lifetime anyway, the, the highlight of any championship game. Probably the game that turned the NCAA tournament into mattering, mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah. on a national level. A big Absolutely. TV event. Yeah, I remember that. watching that game, but I was really, really young at the time. So. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, well, I need to remind you who's got the trophy Yeah, here. that's true, but it was just the first day. <laughs> first day champion, let's yes, put it right. Absolutely. Uh, my right. other big memory for the NCAA tournament, this and this cracks me up, it was my first few months in radio. Okay. I've been in radio since 1988. Right. So <laughs> I, I, I think it was there. Hey, stop. <laughs> Man, I never should have said that. Uh, it was Michigan, I think, playing in the Final Four. Yeah, okay. It was a game. So I'm, I'm playing, I'm, I'm working the midnight shift at KCCR in Pierce, South Dakota. Right. And I'm, I'm disc jockeying a program called Moon Glow. <laughs> <laughs> it's elevator music for people who can't sleep, apparently. Yeah. Uh, so it's, I mean, it's getting late. And I'm listening down the line on the satellite feed to the NCAA basketball basketball tournament game and I'm it's killing me not watching it right so instead of playing moon glow I potted up the game so I could hear it on the radio <laughs> station we were not allowed to carry it we right. were not legal yeah. to carry the game but I carried it till the end <laughs> said all right well for sports we're just going to tune in here and that's yeah. what I did and nobody called and so, nobody caught yeah. you Apparently, I put everybody else to sleep with my <laughs> elevator moon glow music. I can understand. <laughs> yeah. My memory is probably Danny and the Miracles, uh, Kansas knocking off Oklahoma in the national championship game. And then, of course, uh, probably Villanova's win against uh, Georgetown mm -hmm. when they were a heavy underdog when you had the three teams from the Big East make the Final Four uh, with St. John's the other one. Those are some of my early memories, along with Michael Jordan hitting the game winner. You know, How about uh, Keith Smart from Keith Indiana. Keith Smart from Indiana in 87. Knight, but, yeah, yeah, that's Absolutely, that yeah. was a great team. Yeah, that was, you know, and, and you know, I, yeah, I look back at some of those Syracuse teams, you know, with Derek Coleman and, uh, you know, Dwayne the Pearl, you know, and Mer Monroe and all those mm -hmm. guys. I mean, it was, uh, I'd, I could literally sit back and probably fill a half an hour of just memories of games I'm from the MCA sure tournament and stuff. Yeah, and so, you know, uh, I, it's, it's just a darn shame we don't have time to, I know. to go over our, our yeah. standings, doesn't it? Yeah, no. Uh, well, you know, yeah. Do we need to? Well, we can mention that Gene Rasmussen's in first place. Gene, Gene, we like in, Gene. Yeah, Gene's in first place. <laughs> He's tied with the guy that's missing today. Yeah, Honold in yeah. first place. Yeah, Honold and Gene tied for first. Dan Cooks in third. All right, coaches out there, what is wrong with us? Yes, there's something wrong when Honold's sitting in first place. I know. Uh, yeah, because he's never played the game before. <laughs> He's a wrestler, people. Yeah, He's a wrestler. he grew up wrestling, you know, yeah. And Keith Wagner's in fourth. He joined us today. Caitlin Christensen uh, is in mm -hmm. fifth place. Uh, got Lonnie Miller and Randy Beeson tied for sixth. Uh, Todd Bontrager, Chris Stimson, Matt Wilkin, last year's champion, and John are tied for eighth. Uh, Coach Wilkin, when he turned in his sheet, said, here's this year's winner. So, uh, you know, the <laughs> fact that he's in eighth place, not looking real good right now. Uh, myself, Darren Miller, uh, Cole Corson, and Corey Meyer, those two still kind of together. They're tied for 12th. Nick Brinks is in 16th. Uh, Eric Francis, Tyler Shipley, uh, Nathan Cones, Kevin Potoff tied for 17th. Got Tom Hawkap and John Minahan, who's in some serious trouble they're tied for 21st uh clive clark is 23rd and nate wall right now bringing up the basement uh, nate. he is the guy that is currently in last place so. really our co-coach of the year for the yes. rewind team nate get it together he must spend too much time <laughs> breaking down high school film and not watch any college apparently yeah he's too so. studious for us yes I, but uh, minahan in trouble lost iowa state as his champion and kansas state out of the final four so uh, he, he's kind of the guy and right he doesn't now have a trophy we either. might have to get him a trophy for last place <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that yeah Yes. All right, that's KCIM Sports Rewind. Catch a podcast anytime at carolbroadcasting.com.